Well, it's Memorial Day. Um, I just uh, finished putting up the video the other day of the Arbor Press build. You can see it back there. And I mentioned I was out of uh, gas for my uh, MIG welder. Thought about stick welding it, but uh, yeah, really today is going to just be a little goof around day. I also told you we had brought our son home just from the uh, hospital um, after a three day stint. Well, last night we uh, took him back in and we did another all nighter in emergency. So I've got a few hours sleep in me, but pretty tired. So I'm not going to push myself today. So anyway, what we're going to do though is the Arbor Press that's over here on the temporary stand. I'm going to go ahead and get that out of there and get it ready to paint. Uh, at least to motivate motivate myself to keep on going so uh, we'll uh, watch a little of that um, if you notice the uh, chair down here some people might wonder why does he have an office chair in his shop well I have a as you know I have a rack for uh, lifting cars and the uh, it uh, it does kind of the, the racks right here and it does come in very handy when you're underneath the car uh, sitting down and you can roll and it'll swivel uh, next and it's much simpler than trying to stand um, found that to be very very helpful I don't know you'd see it in a regular uh, job shop or a uh, mechanics uh, dealership uh, see a guy sitting in an office chair working but uh, hey for this old guy it works great so let's get some stuff out of there and get that out of there Funny, the other day I, looked, I was looking for this. This is the uh, pull line that they put in the conduit for pulling electrical. And I, I needed some. And I walked around this shop, I don't know for how long, looking for it. And uh, checked everywhere, opened drawers, couldn't find it. A few days later I was standing across the shop and talking on the phone and I glanced over and there I saw it. I was real smart and I put it on the handle there. Nice to have everything on wheels. The wood one looks like the uh looks like I made it a little shorter. Must have had a reason for that.
don't know if you can see the, uh, I think you can, see the stain down there on the floor? I'm going to turn on the back here. Yeah, see the stain down there on the floor right over here? Nice thing about uh, epoxy paint on a shop floor, this was done back in 1990, uh, but it's, it's really held up well. But for the uh, ease of uh, cleaning, a little carburetor cleaner. I'm not going to let you wash me, wash my floor here, but uh, epoxy floor really, really holds up well. You can see that. Bring you back. Again, as I said, it's uh, nice to have things on wheels. Having the pallet jack, I can basically move my welding table around the shop as necessary. With the welders down there, it comes in handy that it's down at this end of the shop. The table weighs about 1,200 pounds. don't have a roll of shop paper like this craft paper building paper and build a simple rack where you can pull it off and cut it I tell you one of the best things I ever did I saw it on my buddy's channel blue hand blue hand video Mike I saw that and I said that's the cat's meow I used to always sit there with, with the roll unrolling it cutting it trying to reach all the way down I got it set up in the shop it's in one of my old videos one of the best things I ever did I'm going to put some paper on here, so when I, when I go to painting, I don't have to clean the table. This hoist also. It runs on three phase. Okay, well, we'll get some cleaning. Cleaning and then uh, get that guy painted. It's gonna go gray, no more green. This assembly was uh, relatively simple, so it's uh, all ready to um, to go into uh, getting its parts cleaned. I could fit it in my glass beater, but I ain't going to lug that son of a gun. So we'll get it cleaned and get it ready for paint. <laughs> 